Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Dr. Rajeshwar from YR Pharma Tube. In the previous lesson, we discussed the structure activity relationships and mechanism of action of cephalosporins. If you did not watch the video, hit the i button on top right of this video to watch it. For the other topics of antibiotics and medicinal chemistry, click on the links given in the description below this video. Also, answer the questions given in the community tab. In this lesson, we shall learn the chemical degradation of cephalosporins. Cephalosporins undergo various hydrolytic degradation reactions whose specific nature depends on the individual structure. Among the seven acyl amino cephalosporinic acid derivatives, the 3-acetoxymethyl group is the most reactive site. Cephalosporins are degraded in the presence of a strong acid solution, which is a chemical method, and in the presence of an acylase, and beta-lactamase enzymes, which are both enzymatic methods. Degradation in the presence of a strong acid solution. Cephalosporin C undergoes hydrolysis in the presence of a strong acidic solution to form the desacetyl cephalosporin derivative in which the acetyl group at C3 is eliminated. This desacetyl cephalosporin upon lactonization produces a lactone derivative of cephalosporin which is virtually an inactive compound. Degradation in the presence of an acylase enzyme. The 7 acyl amino group of some cephalosporins can also be hydrolyzed under enzymatic and non-enzymatic conditions to give 7 amino cephalosporinic acid or 7 amino desacetyl cephalosporinic acid derivatives. Here, cephalosporin C on enzymatic degradation in the presence of an acylase enzyme gives 7-amino cephalosporinic acid in which the R1 group or the 7-amino group is stable. The 3-acetoxymethyl group of 7-ACA on further hydrolysis under acidic conditions lactonizes to form an inactive lactone named 7-amino desacetyl cephalosporinic acid. The reactive functionality common to all cephalosporins is the beta-lactam ring. Degradation in the presence of beta-lactamase enzyme. The enzyme beta-lactamase or cephalosporinase degrades cephalosporin C into cephalosporoic acid, enhydrodesacetyl cephalosporoic acid and desacetyl cephalosporoic acid. Further breakdown of these acidic products leads to many other fragmented and rearranged products. Studies of the in vivo metabolism of orally administered cephalosporins have demonstrated aryl acetyl glycines and aryl acetamidoethanols, which are believed to be formed from the corresponding aryl acetyl amino acetaldehydes by metabolic oxidation and reduction, respectively. No doubt, the aldehydes arise from non enzymatic hydrolysis of the corresponding cephalosporoic acids. No evidence for the intramolecular opening of the beta-lactam ring by the 7-acyl amino oxygen to form oxazolones of the penicillinic acid type has been found in the cephalosporins. At neutral to alkaline pH, intramolecular aminolysis of the beta-lactam ring by the alpha amino group in the 7-amino desacetyl cephalosporinic acid derivatives such as cephaloglycine, cephedrine and cephedroxyl occurs forming diketopiperazine derivatives. The formation of dimers and polymers from 7-ADCA derivatives containing an alpha amino group in the acyl amino side chain may also occur, especially in concentrated solutions and at alkaline pH solutions. This is the list of references followed for the lesson. That's all in this video, the chemical degradation of cephalosporins. In the next lesson, we will learn the beta-lactamase inhibitors. Till then, never stop learning and never stop watching my videos. Thank you for watching this video.